So we're going to start with this horizontal line right here. And notice that this horizontal line has a slope of 0 in the form y equals mx plus b. Mx plus b. It has a slope of 0, which is why it is completely uh, horizontal. It's not growing at all. It's not going up. It's not going down. It's just straight across. OK. and if we open this set of points and turn those on, we have a bunch of points there. 2 comma 3, negative 7 comma 3, and so on. Notice all these points have a y coordinate of 3, which is why they're all points on this horizontal line. So we can write the horizontal line like this, but 0 times x is 0 and 0 plus 3 is 3, so therefore we could just write y equals 3, and that would give us the same points. Let me do that. y equals 3, and let me make this dotted and blue, and then you can see that line is y equals 3. So the line y equals 0x plus 3 is the same as the line y equals 3. OK, um, let me turn these. Let me keep them on, actually. Uh, we have a general form for horizontal lines. All horizontal lines can be put in the form of y equals b. And notice when I make this slider move, we have a horizontal line. I can pause it anywhere, like right there. And when we have y equals negative 1.88, we have a horizontal line that crosses the y-axis here at negative 1.88. If I drag this up, it goes up. And now notice the b is 3, and that's why it's coinciding with this line y equals 3. OK. So. Now, we've done horizontal lines. What about vertical lines? Well, let's start with some vertical points. So we have these points right here. What do all um, these points are vertical? Um, there's, we've got even a, a, a pi situation here. Desmos recognize that as pi. All right, I'm going to try to find a line that goes through all those points that's of the form y equals mx plus b. I've got sliders here. So I'm um, trying to make my M vertical. I can get it really steep. And it's just stopping at 10. I could make it stop at uh, 1,000. And it's still going to have this problem. It looks vertical, but if you zoom in close enough, it's not actually vertical. Look at that. Not actually vertical. It's off the line. OK. So, um, and the other thing is, if it's in the form y equals mx plus b, it's always going to have a b value, which is the y-intercept where it crosses. And so it can never get off of the y-axis. So y equals mx plus b is not going to work for vertical lines. However, the solution is what do all these points have in common? they all have an x-coordinate of negative 5. So if we just graph the equation x equals negative 5, boom, we get a vertical line. The general form of all vertical lines is this, x equals c. And notice if this, let's pause it right there at 3.83. We can drag it over here to negative 7.7, .7 and it's going through the x-coordinate, negative 